Hello, friends. I'm Leah Fireheart. This is the Fire Kitchen. Welcome to here. <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> today we are making burger buns and hamburgers and, and broccoli, which is back there because otherwise I was afraid I was going to forget to do it. That's, how the, that's kind of the day that we're having today. Um, I am joined here by my husband and moderator, Grognard Gourmand, who is on the other side of that wall because it's a friggin' snow day. You guys, we got snow. It's not like a lot of snow by the standards of places that get a lot of snow, but like it's, and it's not even a lot of snow for here, but like it's enough snow that things were canceled. So Grog's home. Um, also our Chester is behind me here. Hi, Chester. I, I forgot to turn off the light in the living room. That's why the light looks weird. That's better. <laughs> Hi. But also there's a Chester. Hi, Chester. <sighs> Alpine was here first. Congratulations, Alpine. Right. Let's say hi to people. Um, I actually have to open my chat on my laptop because this is... I, I Touching OBS while I'm live makes me nervous. I know. It's irrational. It's fine. It's fine if we're irrational. Irrational is good for us. Um, okay, hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's, 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 uh, let's do a scrolly scroll, a little scrolly scroll up. Um, I know Alpine's here because Alpine was here first. Thank you for pinning that, Brigitte. I appreciate it. Um, right. So, uh, Brigitte is here. Shark, shark, Brigitte. Hi. Uh, Grog is here. Hello, Grog. Saribot is here. Hello. Hi, Saribot. Vix. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Xantos. Hi, Shark Shark. Or did you also get a snow day? I hope you also got a snow day. Des. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi. Small Bear Bean. Hi. How are you? It's good to see you. Blip. That's really cute. Um, Gorecki. Oh my goodness. Hi, Gorecki. Um, okay. Gorecki wants to see the snow. Make snowboarders, please. I, I, how... I, okay, we'll come back to that. Arcadia, hello, hi. Some random geek, hi, I'm here at work, but most might mostly be lurking. That is okay. You are welcome to lurk. I'm just happy you're here. Um, snow burgers. We're, we're going to make, we're, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Gorecki, but we're, we're fine. We're good here. This is fine. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Omega Prime. Hi. Yes, it's a Chester. It's a Chester. Mom. Hi. Hello. Um, Xantos did. Yes. Heck yeah. Um, and and mom is is lurking today as well. That is fine. That's that's great. This is good. It's good to have lurkers. It's good to like have people in chat when I go live. It makes me feel like like people want to actually be here, which is amazing. Um. <laughs> Right. So, um, Gorecki wants us to make snowboarders. I'm not, I'm not sure how one goes about that. Um, what I can do, hold on, can I do this? Is it still snowy outside? It's still snowy outside. Okay, hold on a second. Y'all can't, can't really see, can't really see this because I, if I change my camera, I'll never be able to change it back. But let's see if I can strategically point away from anything that might contain an address. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I have snapped a little, a little photo-y photo. Sorry, I know, I'm sorry, those of you with object permanence issues. Um, but I, I am, I am in fact still here. <sighs> um, sorry. This is just going to mess up my song. It's just going to mess up my light. So I need to close the blinds. Um, we are going to go ahead and post that. Where are we going to post that? We're going to post that in, uh, in Discord Elysium, in Street Parade, because that is where we post things like, see, I told you it kind of snowed. Um, so like, it's a little bit comical, but like what you don't realize is that when we got up this morning, it was completely covered and has since been plowed. <laughs> um, and even though it is probably only maybe like, what, like three or four inches, Grog, that we got, um, it, it like it was still snowing at rush hour, which is why everybody was like, is it going to get worse? Is it going to get better? And that's why they canceled everything. Um, so yeah, we're we're not like snowed in like it's above the door <laughs> like we're snowed in like it's too cozy to leave the house <laughs> snowed in like that um 
<laughs> Grog, this OBS is the third rail of streaming. I mean, for the most part, it's fine. It's just that when I try to do things like scroll up in chat, I tend to accidentally hit other things because I have this like trackpad situation, which is not very precise. So I, I rather than accidentally knock myself offline, um, I think it's better if I just don't touch it and just use my laptop. Um, uh, let's see. Um... Brigitte wants to know where her duck is. Um, I, I'm confused. Uh, yes, yeah, no photos. There you go. Now you can have a snow photo. Does it snow where you are at all? I don't even, I don't even know. Like, I don't, I don't actually, I know, I know that it gets absolutely beastly hot because I've heard people complain of beastly hotness, but, um, but I don't know so much about, about how cold it gets. Um. Grog says it depends on where you're standing. It's also powdery, so it blows around a lot. Yes, that is the big thing. It has been really cold. It has just not gotten above freezing, which is like, like, so zero Celsius, which is like the one Celsius temperature that I can reliably convert was, I think, our high today. So that was like, and, and it was really only like, like negative one, one Celsius on either side of our 28, 33 kind of divide. Not warm <laughs> um when when i said i was like grog which dress did i wear and grog was like something warm and i was like okay but all of my dresses are short sleeved except for the one that i wore last week so oops maybe i need more um long sleeved pinup dresses um wait Brigitte is indeed well just curling up under a blanket trying to warm my chilly feet i'm sorry it is cold there too Grogs is going down to negative 12 rest of world temperatures. Wait, what? No, that's not right. That can't be right. Is that right? Holy hell. No way. 11 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 12 Celsius. That is not good. That is not a good temperature. That is a cold temperature. Has the U.S. discovered cardigans yet? Um, yes, but we only put them on corgis. Long sleeved crocheted house coat. I love it. I I do know some people who crochet, but I don't know that I know people who crochet things that are quite that large. Um, no, I do. I need I need like a like a granny square house coat for with like big patch pockets for my for my my streams. Um Okay, Gorecki says, yeah, but only a sprinkle. We have a few mountains that get snow and there are places you can ski in winter. Neat. Um, wait. Mom has what? I'm I'm uh. Mom says, be careful. You have people in your audience who know who know how to crochet. That is true. I do. I do. That and uh, but honestly, like I feel like that's that's not quite the same thing as daring someone to send you 500 poblano peppers. My hair is like all tangled in this stupid wire. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, mom has discovered cardigans. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, I do have like, I do have like, I at some point I should go get them. But I think I've worn them on stream before, haven't I? I have I have these little cropped cardigans that that like they sit right here. They're designed to go with these pinup dresses, right? Because the pinup dresses are like, the, it's right at my natural waist. Like the seam right here is right at my natural waist. And it looks like if you wear like a big blousy, regular, like hip length cardigan, it looks very strange with these dresses. So I have these little cropped cardigans. Um, I know I have one in green. I think I have one in black. I know I have one in pink. I've been trying to get one in red for some time, but they're always sold out. So you know yeah so i do have them i but they're but even those are they're like they're like mid forearm they're like these little cropped sleeves so like it's a little better but it's not that much better <sighs> uh i oh i mean the only thing i've ever okay so mom i know you know how to crochet like like strings of things but i've never really known you to make something like a like a blanket can't, I mean, I, I mean, I guess I assume you can figure it out. You're good at all kinds of things that are like that. But but um, but I didn't know that you were you were deeply into yarn. You you seem to be more deeply into fabric. Um, 
Um, <laughs> Des says who needs a crocheted blanket? No, no, Des, I need a, um, Omega Prime suggested a long sleeved crocheted house coat, which is honestly perfect for my vibe, right? Like it's, it's like, uh, but, but I need it to be like, like, I have a vision <laughs> like that gave me a vision. It gave me a vision of like of like brightly colored granny squares in a black background, but like made into a coat <laughs> so that I could like like I could I could I could like cozy up in a blanket while I'm streaming, except it would be like a coat because it would have sleeves that I could move my arms around in. <laughs> Please don't make me a crocheted coat. That is so much work. Like, I can't even tell you. Like, if anybody ever gives you, like, a hand knit or hand crocheted, like, scarf or blanket or sweater or anything like that, just know that that took, or like a quilt, my mother quilts, for example, hundreds of hours to do these things, right? I mean, not 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 for everything, but like for a lot of people, for a lot of things takes so long to make these things. And there is generally one or more parts of it that they do under duress because that's what you have to do to get it from fun part to finished thing, okay? So like, even though it's a hobby, there's always some little point where it's like, okay, this has ceased to be fun and I'm gonna do it anyway because I love this person. Yeah, so if anybody ever gives you anything like that give them a big hug and a kiss and tell them how much you love them because it's a crap ton of work um <laughs> thus endeth leah's rant of the day about crocheted gifts um uh oh okay Gorecki says those exist it's totally doable amazing um uh, this is i love crocheting mom says i've made some blankets in my life do you remember a gray black tan one with 12 inch fringe that lived with us for quite a while yarn is not my preferred medium however you are correct about that i do know people who are as obsessive about yarn as you are about fabric though i do know those people um i also know people who are as obsessive about fabric as you are in fact brenda's mother my friend brenda brenda's mom is is another quilter in fact, Brenda's mom, you, actually, you know what? Brenda's mom is actually pretty smart. I'm sure she's got other things too, but like she does these quilt, um, like a quilt of the month club thing. And they're really cute. I mean, they're mostly like more like wall hanging size or like their little, little crocheted projects, like the little, um, like the little hot pad she made me. Have you guys seen that? I, I know you guys have seen it, but I, you guys may not have seen it in a while. Here it is. It's up here because I use it a lot. Um, it's this one. So like, it it's like pink on this side and like, oh, it's dirty. Um, and, um, and, and it's got the, the pink on the other side. This needs to be washed. So let's, uh, let's throw that, let's throw that in the wash and we'll wash it. Um, but, um, but that, and that's just a, like a simple quilt. But I think that came originally as like a quilt of the month idea. Um, but that's what I got from, from Brenda's mom for Christmas one year. It was really good. Um, hold on. that like had messy stuff in it. It feels like cookie crumbs or something. Um, Gorecki says I, inhug I inherited the ugliest granny square crochet blanket from my mother. Hideous color choices. And it's my most prized possession. I honestly feel like the crocheted blanket thing is so much better in hideous colors than it is in like something that's like deliberately matchy matchy, like supposed to be chic. I mean, I'm sure that can be nice, but the ones that I gravitate to like in thrift stores and stuff, which is why I'm like treasure it forever because the number of like handmade crocheted Afghans I find in thrift stores is like a lot. Um, that <laughs> that that like the 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 really good ones are like the really bizarre color combinations like like orange and baby blue <laughs> it's like and i did i sold i sold two that were like orange bait like orange like or like this is a this is this is this is a grapefruit but but orange orange baby blue like pale ass blue and like like this like olivey sage green it was like those things were not even in the realm of any like color wheel situation that anyone's ever seen in their lives but they it was so the combination of it was so deliciously hideous that they both sold immediately like the first event that i took them to 
Snow, hi. <laughs> shark, shark, how are you? Um, Mom says, look, there's so many ways to commute, commune with the quilting universe, monthly, weekly, daily. Oh, my gosh. Brigitte says, using a Peruvian Luigi board? That's, that's, that's a pun. <laughs> No, <laughs> Peruvian, and she means Ouija board, but she said Peruvian Ouija board. I'm in pain. Jane, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Um, <laughs> uh, Greggy says it's all about the time, 70s ugly colors are legion. Um, for she says, what the heck is with the orange and baby blue? Opting out. Hi, Shark Shark, how are you? Baby blue and what? I'm not quite getting that other color. I'm going to throw this grapefruit at you. I'm not, actually, because for some reason my camera was, like, all wonky and I had to, like, fix it. And it took me a minute and I don't want to mess it up again. Also, I feel like throwing an orange at it is, or throwing a grapefruit at it is not quite the same as throwing, like, a carrot at it. That could be, that could be bad. Um, <laughs> Correct, he says, I'll have to post a pic in chat. You're probably on the spot with that dating. Um. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Andy Shark Shark. Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Um, we're talking about hor horrific uh, a color co crochet Afghan color combinations at the moment. Um, I, I was relating that I'd seen one that was that was orange and baby blue and like an olive green, like an olive. Like, yeah, it was like an olive green. It was it was it was like bright orangey orange, baby blue and olive green. It was it was a sight to behold, but it was distinctive. And when I sold it, it sold immediately. So um, <laughs> so sadly, Gorecki, I lived it, but never truly embraced it. I have, however, I kind of have. Although, honestly, I think my aesthetic trends more. Well, I mean, okay, okay, except for the sofa, right? The sofa is, well, you can't really see it from back here. Not, not that well, but like the, the, oh, and my, my shoes are, oh, no, that's not my shoes. That's Chester's alligator. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So my, my sofa is from 1954, 1954. It, it predates both of my parents. So it's 1954. Um, but it was recovered in the 1970s. And you can see it when I do my gaming streams. It's like it's like yellow, yellow. But like it's a good yellow, right? I never really thought of myself as a yellow person, but it's like a yellow. Um, and then I think the Beverly Hills Hotel banana leaf wallpaper is probably an early 60s phenomenon. Probably. Um Jane says, my temperature blanket had the potential to be hideous, but I think I picked out decent colors. Do you also crochet? The concept of those temperature blankets is so cool. I know a few people who have who have who have made them. I they're I I don't know. Um they're not people like who I watch like religiously, but it was just there's people that I kind of pop into their chats on occasion. Um on Twitch. Um it's the only place I've seen these temperature blankets. Um, but um but uh the um oh and I guess Viper's making one right wasn't White Viper making one that's what I heard I I don't know that I've seen it recently though um anyway so yeah but like I feel like if you do like the the kind of like blue to to red kind of thing it can it can it can look a little weird um does this one day I want to do a temperature blanket Jane says they do I'm working on a temperature blanket a regular blanket and a unicorn <gasps> a unicorn like an amigurumi. Like a little one or like a big one. I the other thing that's been funny about about a new Instagram account is that they don't know what to send me. Like they don't they don't know what the algorithm is like. We don't know what you like. We're going to just send you a little bit of everything and see what happens. I, I got in my feed these <laughs> life size crochet Pokemon. You guys can't see my hand because I'm I'm but like but like. Wait, how do I, how do I, okay, here, this way. So the, like this size, enormous life-size Pokemon, crocheted Pokemon. And, and, and they're, I, they're, yeah. So like, I'm used to seeing the little crochet, like, you know, like this, but like, but like these were, it was really good. Um, Jane says next stop, human supplies, open size, emotional support, octopus. I love it. Um, Brigitte asks, what's a temperature blanket? Dirtle. Hello, my name is Dirtle Birdle, and how are you all? 
I'm ha- nice, pleased to meet you, Dirtle. It's so lovely to have a new face here in chat. However, did you find us? And I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? Um, Des says you assign yarn colors to the temperature and then make a blanket with said yarn to correlate the daily slash weekly temperature. Yes. Um, <laughs> Santos is here. Have stuff out of Zan's feed. That might actually have, that might actually have been, have been, I think it's based on kind of like who I have followed. Cause I followed about, I don't know, like a 50 or so of my friends. Um, and so I'm probably getting things that other people have liked. Cause I am getting things that are like, at least me adjacent, even if they're not like directly in my wheelhouse. Like for example, I got a lot of, I was complaining about this on threads. I got a lot of cat content, so much cat content when I am quite clearly a dog person grog is allergic to cats we can't have cats um but it wouldn't matter because i've always been a dog person i've never been a cat person although i like cats better than grog does um (laughs) uh wait a second okay santos this is loves pushing pokemon at me because it works yes uh yes bienvenuto el senor birdley senor birdley killed it yesterday in uh or not yet was it yesterday yes it was yesterday yesterday in jackbox games Opting out says, hi, new person, Turtle Purtle. Leah has gone to Walmart and be back in 45 minutes. Oh, no, not this again. <laughs> That's very funny. <sighs> Santa says, also me. So many cats. So, so many. But also, I think I might have followed as Belle on Instagram. I think Belle's on Instagram. And also, Corey is also on Instagram. And so, like, I feel like, I feel like the, like, the, like, critical mass of cat content overwhelmed the algorithm because I got so many cats for so, like, literally every single reel that I looked at was cats. Um, Dirtle says, thank you very much for the information opting out. If Leah doesn't return after 45 minutes, should we go look for her? I, I, okay, I'm just going to let you guys run with this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, Santos is yet doomed, all six cats members. Dirtle says, yeah, I killed it yesterday. If by that you may, I mean, you never went around. Okay, so here's the thing. So we played, we played Jackbox games in Discord yesterday. And, and here's the funny thing. So I, I actually sat out. I, I played audience for the whole time, mainly because I know there's like a limit to the number of people who can play it. I wanted to be there. I wanted to like participate, but I didn't want to take up a space so that somebody else could actually play. And as it turns out, we ended up being full for some of the rounds. So I'm glad I did that. But, um, so the audience gets to pick like their favorite, their favorite of the things, right? And what was funny is that it's very clear to me (laughs) that Dirtle and I have a very similar sense of humor in some ways, just probably why I find him so funny. But, but the ones that I picked were overwhelmingly either Grog's or Dirtle's. (laughs) And Grog makes sense, right? Like Grog's makes sense, right? Because we like live together and we ha- we share a lot of the same references and that kind of thing. But but the Dirtle one cracked me up. And so that's why I thought Dirtle was killing it because Dirtle picked all the things that I, like Dirtle wrote all the things that I personally chose. Um, Mom says snow and a full freezer obviates the need or desire for Walmart today. That is true. Um, Alpine says I watched a couple of emo girl reels and now that's all my reels are. The algorithm is brutal. Pinterest though. Pinterest is like super aggressive about it. Um, Jay says, yes, my unicorn is Amagurumi. I'll share pictures in the discord when I finish him. Oh, I love unicorns. This is so exciting. Um, uh, Brigitte says news just in. Leah doesn't find Brigitte funny. Mostly just mostly annoying. That's not true. The the other ones that I picked were yours, but but most of them were either Cox or Turtle. <laughs> um, Opting Out says we keep trying to get Chester set up as a rescue dog, but his lawyers keep balking at the neck cask booze options in the contract. Oh my god. Xantos says I mean the other half of my feet is tattoo stuff because I follow tattoo artists. I like I got a tattoo thing today. I got a tattoo thing today. Somebody opening up their commissions and and they like they mostly do like art 
that then someone claims and then that person gets that tattoo on them, which I thought was interesting. I hadn't necessarily seen that before, but I am not well versed in the medium of tattoos. Um, <laughs> let's just say find Brigitte funny enough for both of us. I also find Brigitte very funny. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Jane says, I love unicorns too. I collect unicorns. I'm a sucker for anything vintage and unicorn. A la my black velvet painting, which is my favorite thing ever. I also have a unicorn tattoo. All right. Jane, I have something for you. I have been saving this for just the right person. I don't need it. I, I don't, I don't actually need it. Um, but I couldn't bring myself to sell it. I knew that I knew that it would fetch a pretty price, but I can't sell it, but I could give it away. So if you are willing to give me your address, I have this. Look, it's a brass, it's a vintage brass unicorn. It's so heavy. Does it belong to you? Does it belong with you? I think it might. I thought it was so pretty. It's like the last unicorn. It's like in the... It's like in the like in the water. It's got like, do you see? It's so pretty. I love it so much. But I I don't need to keep it because it's not I'm not that into unicorns, right? It's just here. Wait, let's put it up here. And you you can you can you can look at it and tell me if you think it belongs to you. Um it might be technically a napkin ring. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Or like a It looks like it's supposed to prop something up, but I don't care. It, there was only one and it's perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, uh oh, okay. Uh, Dirtle says, I just spoke to my client. He would be willing to undergo training as a rescue dog, provided said training involves copious amounts of treats. Opting out says, I always want tattoos, but in the end, I, I only got tat one. Wait, did how, do you have tattoos? Who does have, actually, it, let me know in the chat. Let me, tell me in the chat who has tattoos and what is it? I'm curious. I was going to get one and then things didn't happen correctly. And, and so, and so I didn't do it, but uh, it, I don't know if I've ever actually fully told that story. Um, Dirtle says major last unicorn vibes. Oh my God. I'd love that so much. You're absolutely sweet. I heavily accept. Excellent. All right. I'll send you a message after stream. Or if I forget, you send me a message. Um, uh, let's see. Grecky says this beautiful. Thank you. Um, also, um, I hear Grecky has been inducted into the cult of Lego Fortnite. Welcome. There are snacks. Um, Grogs is seeing how Chester is not a human. Laws against age discrimination do not apply. Chester is too old for training. Something about old dog and new tricks. Bridget says it's propping up the dreams of a thousand toddlers. And a Jane. Opting out says only my wedding band. Oh, that's such a cool idea. I love it. Uh, Omega Prime has one Celtic armband. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I just made Jane's entire week. Amazing. I'm so glad. Um, Santos is my cats as fantasy D&D characters and ghost Pokemon. Those are so cool. Actually, I don't know that I've actually ever even seen your tattoos. I mean, obviously, I've seen Corey's, but I don't know that I've actually seen yours. Gorky says Jane is extremely correct. It's an excellent dream prop. Amazing. Um, Santos says soon more ghost Pokemon. Where are you? You'll, you'll have to tell me where you're going these days. Is it still the same place? Um, Dirtle says I might get a tattoo once I finished my studies, but no tattoos so far. Aha! Interesting. Yeah, I wanted to get my fire heart on the back of my shoulder. Here. Like, right here. Um, and I, and it was supposed to be my birthday present. Not this past year, but the year before. Um, and, and it didn't happen because the artist who I was supposed to have an appointment with left the studio. And, like, it was weird. And it and it gave me bad vibes, and so I decided that that wasn't that wasn't the moment for it, and so I'm just kind of waiting for it to feel like it's the moment for it. Um, <laughs> the Anto says for this next batch, I'm going to to anime style tattoo specialist down in Richmond. Oh, cool. Um, mom says, but you don't like pain. I don't. I mean. I guess who does though I mean I well I guess oh I shouldn't say that I mean there are people who do but like that that that's temporary <laughs> it's the pain's not forever um Jane says like, okay I have five tattoos amazing actually Dirtle we talked about that we talked about doing that and the the artist was down 
she was going to check with her boss, but but she was down. Um, all right. So Jane says, I have five tattoos, a blue rose, my pastel unicorn dream boat, some stupid Pinterest tattoo that I hate, the word Sparta, and one on my shoulder that's a mix of mental health awareness and my favorite TV show. So cool. Um, uh, it's a voluntary pain. How many channel points for that? I don't know. I don't I I mean I I was actually honestly like completely ready to do it like on stream. I was like I was trying to figure out how we would. I was like I need to be able to run a fiber line from my laptop to like a modem to do it to cuz otherwise the stream isn't stable enough. But um but we talked about it and I was ready to I was ready to like to like, you know, it, it, it involve others in this project. So we, but but I didn't I didn't I didn't end up doing it. Um, Brigitte says, don't you have a semi-permanent version to tide you over? No, I used it. Remember? It was on me for a while. But, um, but, but obviously it, it, it that was like, you know, like a year and a half ago <laughs> that I used it. Um, right. Okay. So, uh, we should probably at least, oh, we need to sort out more. Thank you. Uh, I, I do know where to get them. I do. There's a there's a place online that you can get like like really good like really like really good high quality temporary tattoos. Um okay, so uh here's the thing. I'm making bread today, which means that I probably actually kind of need to get started. Um so, here's here's what here's here's the plan. The plan. Yeah, we can do that now. Um okay. So, oh, I totally missed I totally missed a redemption. Omega's Prime. Thank you. Thank you for the treat, Leah. I appreciate it. Um, I actually probably could do with a snack. I've been starving today. I had oatmeal for breakfast and then I ended up having peanut butter on a on a rice cake. Was that, <laughs> this, is, this is such a terrible reputation. Rice cakes have such a terrible reputation. Um that um I actually really like them and these ones are really good they're brown rice um and they're they're lightly salted so here you can see them um and they're really good um but um but the <laughs> the they they have kind of a bad reputation as being kind of like 80s diet food but I really like them um and I did have I had peanut butter on it and it was really delicious and then I had my lunch um because I was starving um except today Hold on. Today, I'm actually going to make myself some tea. Um, because it is, uh, as Grog noted, rather chilly in here. Grog, do you also want tea? Um, I have been limiting my sugar. Not like, not like, um, to, to, to nothing. But, um, I have not, I have not consumed oh, an overwhelming cabbages. amount of sugar lately. Um, but today... I think I'm going to because one of the reasons that I was trying to kind of avoid sugar was I wanted to see what impact it would have on the headaches that I've been getting. And as it turns out, it has no impact at all. And I'm relatively certain that um, they are hormonal <laughs> as it happens <laughs> because, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that 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 is what's happening there. Um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, uh, was the peanut butter nice and smooth? The peanut butter was in fact nice and smooth. Yes, Brigitte. Um, mom says I like rice cakes, prefer brown in the very thin square ones. Oh, interesting. These are pretty thin, but they're not square. They're round. Um, uh, Brigitte says I used to like a good cheese flavored rice cake. Opting out said if rice cakes didn't want the reputation that it shouldn't have said those things about orphans. They really shouldn't have. You're, you're quite, you're quite correct. Did that sound command go off? Um, <laughs> Mom says, now I want a rice cake with peanut butter and a cup of tea. Excellent. I am an influencer. I love this. Um, <laughs> uh, Dirtle has redeemed a random Grogopedia entry. Um, uh Dirtle says hormones sounds dangerous. Alpine says hormones are terrible unless they're doing the things you want them to, in which case they're the best. 
Um, oh, it did. Oh, okay, okay. It just didn't go off for me. That's weird. Um, all right. So, uh, Brigitte says, so I just remembered to check and confirmed I am correct. Hugs can help headaches. <laughs> Chester needs to up his hug game. I can get hugs from Grog, too. Um, also, hi, Hellraiser. <laughs> How are you? It's good to see you. Um, did, did Grog answer my question about tea? <laughs> Oh, what? Did you want tea? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a pretty simple question. <laughs> um, I am also limiting my caffeine. So today we're going to go with the one that I, I do most often and, and we're going to have something is always broken. This is from my friends Reapers and Steepers tea line with Adagio teas. Um, in fact, if one of the mods could do a hot stuff in chat while I get this situated. Um, uh, Dr. Andy 23, Kuharin, and uh, our friend Fatale, um have a tea line with Adagio teas. This is not sponsored. This is just because we're friends. And um, and and I think the, what they've done is really heckin' cool. Um, and I have a lot of their teas. And so most of the time when I have tea... I have one of theirs. So today is something is always broken. Ta-da, here. Ta-da. Um, <laughs> uh, now Brigitte wants tea. Arcadia likes tea. Lily is 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 lurking. Hey, Lily, it's good to see you. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna use like a like that much of that one. Um, which is uh, this one has I think like lavender in it. I don't remember. Um, but it, it says on that, on that, uh, on that link, that one is, if something is always broken, it's like supposed to be kind of a calming, calming blend. Uh, so there is that. Um, and then as soon as the kettle boils, I'm also going to have one of these, an upcycled stroop waffle, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. Um, it came with this like little like cardboard thing that you're supposed to put on top of your mug so that it like makes it like all melty inside it doesn't really work i feel like if i wanted to make it all melty inside i should probably just microwave it um i'll put it on top of my teacup and we'll see what it does but uh the the cardboard thing just got all like just got all like waterlogged and weird um right so i i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna scroll up just a little bit <laughs> um and and um and read this this Wikipedia entry that Grog has found for us. Um, Wikipedia Divi trans oh shoot hold on a second. Um, Divi translation refers to a dual stateless IPv4 IPv6 translation technique. Divi is an extension of the one to one stateless IPv IP6 translation IVI translation with features of IPv4 address sharing, and dual translation. DiviPD is a further extension of Divi to be used in wireline fiber DSL cable and wireless 3G, 4G access environment where the prefix delegation dash six slash 64 or shorter is preferred. DiviPD is now standardized as the map T in the IEFT. What the hell does that mean? Grogopedia is borked. Grogopedia is definitely borked. I would imagine there are probably people in chat who understand that, though. Um, <laughs> all right, Dirtles is brig. Are you are you dissatisfied with the amount of tea Lee is providing to you? I have ample experience extracting foodstuffs from the Fireheart household for the benefit of my clients, so my services might be for you. Just saying. I don't think Brigitte is an aminal, Dirtle. Are you also licensed to practice to practice human law? <laughs> <laughs> Krog says I was asked for a random wiki I asked wiki for a random article can you do that you can actually ask wikipedia for a random article I didn't know you could do that Jesus the stupid thing there we go okay <laughs> um <laughs> yes yes this is a stroop waffle it's it's um I don't know how it's precisely how it's upcycled but it's apparently an upcycled cookie um Andy, hi. Speaking of talking random nonsense, I'm here. You are not random nonsense. You are beloved. Uh, welcome. It's good to see you. How are things? Um, 
you can do a special random Wikipedia entry. That is so fun. Dirtle, I hope you feel that your points were well spent on whatever inter internet n nonsense mumbo jumbo I just read to you. Dirtle says my clients are normally of the aminal type, so we'd have to improvise, but we can make it work. Can you do any tricks? That normally helps get the, get the jury's good graces. For she was under the impression that Grog would think of something random, then find the article. The thing is, Grog says the thing is I never pick randomly. Oh, you don't? <laughs> You're welcome, Andy. Um, Grog says, but since there's some dispute over the last selection, yeah, usually you pick something topical. But I, I am not. I am actually not opposed to you literally using the random random Wikipedia entry button. That's pretty funny. Um, <laughs> and apparently Brigitte knows some tricks, but is not sure a jury would fully appreciate them. I mean, I know you can't juggle. What kind of tricks are we talking about here, Brigitte? Um, Gorecki says Brigitte can balance all the audacity on the tip of her nose. Accurate. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, okay, so a stroop waffle. Oh, a Dutch pronunciation. That looks like maybe strop waffle. Literally syrup waffle is a thin round waffle cookie made from two layers of sweet baked dough held together by syrup filling. First made in the city of, I know that's Hauda, even though we pronounce it Gouda, um, in South Holland. Strop waffles are a well-known Dutch treat popular throughout the Netherlands and abroad. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Why are my alerts not happening in my ears? This is bizarre. Everything is broken. It's fine. Something is always broken. Uh, and apparently today it's the alerts. It's fine. I hope I hope that went off for you guys. It didn't go off for me. For some reason, the sound alerts are not functioning today, which is fine. Uh, opting out says, be careful asking for clarifications on net protocols. Sometimes the nerds will pop off and go for it. I, I, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure that was at least one pun, so I'm just going to push the button. Dirtle says, I'm very satisfied with the Wikipedia article provided. My thirst for IPv4 and IPv6 translation technique facts has been quenched. Excellent. Um, <laughs> Gorecki out here spilling all my secrets. Brigitte, I'm sorry to tell you that that was not a secret. Um, <laughs> Gorecki says, but not the beans since they don't go on burger buns. Right, burger buns. We have 13 minutes. I don't have time to start burger buns. Um, <laughs> she want to bet they don't come on burger buns. I I don't you can put you can put beans on burger buns if you want. Just keep your hands off the bagels. Dirtle says my thirst for IPv4 IPv6 translation technique facts. You ought to have a doctor take a look at that bird senor bird lay. Arcadia says, according to Google, they're upcycled because of more of the waffle scraps are folded back into the batter to reduce waste. Cool. I think it does say something about that, like on the on the package. It says like made with repurposed waffle bits. Which honestly, fine. Um Yeah. I mean, I you know, I, I don't talk about imperfect foods that I mean, I, I actually, I, I would say I, I, I tried to not talk about it that much because they're not paying me to talk about them. But um, but it is where a good portion of our groceries come from. And it's a good portion of why we're doing today what we're doing today <laughs> and even a better portion of what we're doing Thursday <laughs> because I, <laughs> like a big dummy, <laughs> um, when I order a box, so uh, the, the uh, Imperfect food sends me a box of food a week. That's how this works. It's like a subscription service. And and what usually what happens is on Sundays, I go like the, my, my shopping window opens. They show me what they have available because they don't always have the same things available every week. And I they pre-populate a cart for me. 
And then I take out anything that I don't need that week. And so a lot of the time it's pre-populated with things I've bought before, but it's also populated with like random snacks and stuff. Okay. So, or like, like random, you know, like herbs or whatever. Um, and, and I forgot to edit it this week. So I got double the amount of stuff that I usually get, which is okay. Like it's all stuff we'll eat. Like we're not particularly picky when it comes to food. Like we're, we'll eat most things. Um, and because it's mostly things that we've bought before, it's fine. But like one of the things that I got was those waffle was those not, not waffle. Um, one of the things I got was those, um, those rice cakes. We got another package of those bañuelos things. They're like these little grain free um, cinnamon sugar cracker things. Um, they're, they're really, really good, (laughs) but right now we have three bags of them. I don't really think we need three. Um, so yeah, so that, that's kind of what inspired our theme for the week, which is use it up because we got more things than I really know what to do with. Um, (laughs) wait, Greg, he says, I thought Leah would, but I stand corrected to my delight. What? Go, beans going on on burger buns i mean i don't know whatever i feel like you you got what you got it's fine oh i didn't set a timer for my tea oh well um alpines is the last time i got stroop waffles they didn't fit on my mugs oh no shrinkflation gone mad i'm pretty sure these ones fit i mean i think that might be why they come with like the with like the 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 like cardboard insert thing that you're supposed to use i didn't know this was like an accepted practice that you're just supposed to like put these on top of your mug but yeah it 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 only barely works so i just can't like move it very much (laughs) if i move my cup i have a feeling it's gonna end up in in the cup which is actually why don't i move this over here because I do kind of want to get started on our hamburger buns, probably before like the break, which is coming up in just a few minutes. Um, Arcadia says, I wonder if that's the cardboard thing is for it to put this. Yeah, it is to put them on bigger mugs. And the thing is, like, it's cool, but like you can use it like once and then it's like all. I don't know that I'd want to use it again because it's like all wet. Like from the heat, like it it's trapping the heat between the top of your mug and the cookie. And so it's like soggy. <laughs> and I don't know that I would want to keep reusing that after it had been soggy cardboard that came off the cardboard box. I don't know. It's kind of gross. Um, Dirtle says they find the Banuelos name dis- dis- disturbing as it sounds so close to Panuelo. I don't know what that is. Did I just say something terrible in Spanish? By the way, you guys, one of the things that happened yesterday during, during, um, during Jackbox games was that I actually got to hear Dirtle's uh, Spanish accent. And I was like, you actually know how to pronounce things like, like fluently and it's beautiful. And I'm kind of intimidated. Um, <laughs> Bunuelo sounds like you have an elderly Hispanic rabbit for a relative. I kind of love that actually. Um, Arcadius is sticky and not in the scotch soaked way. <gasps> Wait. Can we dip them in scotch? Do we have any scotch, Grog? <laughs> Preferably something cheaper than than abunada or whatever it's called. Abunad. Abunad. <laughs> Can I dip a cookie in it? <laughs> oh, Panuelo is a Kleenex. That's right. You told me that. You told me that. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, if Chester, if Chester can eat panuelos, I can eat banuelos. I have a bottle in reserve. This is almost done. There you go. You're gonna let me dip cookies in your scotch? (laughs) Mr. Design Cooks. Hi, you heard burgers. You did. We're 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 a little distracted today, but yeah. We we're doing we're doing burger buns. Arcadius is oh no, what have I done? You did. You did do it. You did. It is your fault. All of this is your fault. Um (laughs) uh oh oatmeal cookies and scotch is good or ginger snaps i also have ginger snaps but but what we're talking about specifically is is this the little the stroop waffle strop waffle um and and so that that's what i have it's definitely um it's definitely been warmed look 
Can you see that? Hmm. Brigitte, if it involves beans, I'm kicking you out. Although, my baked bean recipe that I make in the crock pot uses whiskey. Whiskey is not that different from, from scotch. <laughs> it's beans for sure. It's always beans. Gorecki says it's arteries. Turtles says, why would it bring ever suggest anything involving beans? This is a good treat. Sorry, I have a channel point redemption. That's treat Leah. And so someone in my chat wanted me to have a treat, which is why I'm eating this. I also have tea. Brigitte says, okay, hear me out. Prepare to be horrified. Friends. <laughs> Mr. Design Cook says, I have no idea. Okay, so what I need from you is the first letter of your first name and your birth month. If you don't want to give your real ones, it's fine. Make one up. Mmm. Okay, Brigitte, I'm less horrified by this as you than you might imagine, and I will tell you why. But first, Mr. Design Cooks would like to know. I um I I don't want to make any assumptions, but but presumably his uh his unicorn name, which has come off the package of a of a Lisa Frank slice and bake unicorn sugar cookie dough package that I got two years ago on sale after Easter. So this is definitive. <laughs> Here, Tyson. Hi. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so T and June. All right. So T. Um, T is sparkling and June is shimmer. Mr. Design Cooks, your official unicorn name is sparkling shimmer. That's fabulous. I love it. I hope you love it too. But if you don't, give me another one and we can do it again. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Like, there's, there's, there's people who have done like a sliced in half donut and a burger. And I feel like it's a combination I like, right? Like savory plus sweet. Like I like bacon and maple together so why not burger and donut so why not burger and strop waffle why not <laughs> mr design goes so i'm a stripper no you're a unicorn see look horn and everything wait look i have i have prop see see the prop <laughs> um Okay, uh, let's see. Arcadia says like a really crispy chicken burger. <gasps> that would also work really well. That would also work really well because like you do, right? You do, you do, you put you chicken waffle sandwiches. We've made them on stream before. Wait, did we? I think we did. I think we did. I planned to, but that was when I set my kitchen on fire. Um, <laughs> yes, the sacred text, precisely. Dirtle says while you're at it, replace the patty with a slab of chocolate. That would also be good. Um. Um, okay, so Night Captain Andrews' first letter of name plus birth month should be a could be a shot in the game battleship too. J eleven equals miss. Night Captain Andrew, hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Um But let's be honest, good strippers have one name like cinnamon. <laughs> that's true, that's true. No, but you're 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 not you're not a stripper, you're a unicorn. Um Right. So we do actually have an incoming ad break. So I'm going to have to take a break here in just a second. A stripper corn. I, 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 I think you guys should immediately Google that, but please don't put the link in the chat because if you do, I'm going to have to delete it. <laughs> but if all of y'all adults want to Google a stripper corn, I'm not going to stop you. Um, Jane says, I feel like a donut isn't substantial enough. Like it would be sticky and squishy and I'm going to stop this sentence right now. 
<laughs> Turtle says, I want the, if I want the savory sweet combo, I prefer the meat to be of the charcuterie variety. Um, Dirtle says, so ham with honey or whatever, great. Burger patty, not so much. Arcadia says, or the ultimate food crime, a stroopwafel between two chicken burgers, like a double down. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, good Gregi's getting ads for corn. Co I'm sorry, what? <laughs> All right. Thankfully, an ad is coming to save our bacon. So here's what's going to happen. If you are not subscribed to the channel, you will see three minutes of ads. You will not miss anything because for those of you who are subscribed, I am going to go ahead and put up something else. So um, y'all will watch something. You will not miss a single moment of the stream. And that's what keeps the stream pre-roll ad free for everyone for the rest of the hour. So um, I will be right back after this break. Um, and, um, and, and you guys should have fun, but not too much fun. Be right back. <laughs> sh 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 sh. Yum. This sounds delicious. <sighs> Gorecki says, I have been very good today, Leah. <laughs> yes, Gorecki. You have been a very good girl. Uh, oh, a pupper demands a hug. Wait, are we... Are we supposed to hug Pupper? Wait. I, I, don't, I wait, got the bottom on. half. I, get, I like, got the get, bottom I half. Get, we gotta get closer to the camera to hug Pupper. We love you, Pupper. Um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think Pupper wants us to hug each other. Oh, there. That's easy. <laughs> That's easy to do. Um, uh, Corey hugs are, are just as satisfying as one might expect. I try. Wearing it. Byron Why are you glaring at Byron? Byron says you got him a copy of Will Smith's hit single Switch. Um. No. I could. You could. But you won't. Yeah! Let it out! Let the disco happen! There we go. Um, all right, I'm going to set this aside um, because I forgot to preheat the oven because that's how we are today. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, it didn't budge. It didn't even budge. I, I was like thinking it was going to be all over the floor. It didn't budge. I literally dropped the whole thing upside down and the batter didn't fall out. Oh my goodness. Amazing. I love streaming. I love hanging out with you guys. I love coming here and sharing time in my kitchen as if we were all attending the same virtual dinner party, um, which is kind of the metaphor that I use in my head for bringing people into my space and, 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 and trying to be as amusing a hostess as possible. <clears throat> behave behave harder you heard it Leah's cunning plan was to be too hot this channel gets spicier and spicier indeed it does in fact we have just made hot and sticky We were talking about squirrels. And I can actually do that one from memory, but it's like my version of it is slightly different from yours, which is how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck as much as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. I can do other weird things too, like tie a cherry stem in and not with my tongue, but my mother didn't teach me that. I learned that all on my own. Um, <laughs> Hobby says, I don't know how you would teach that, if I'm honest. That was very funny. Sarah's pencil is out of lead. So it's a normal day. It's a normal day. Thank you, Sarah. Um, speaking of which, Sarah, are you around this weekend? <laughs> this is like really thick. Look at this cake batter. It's like really thick. 
Um, all right, I'm going to set this aside. This is a little weird. I'm wearing the same dress that I was wearing in that clip. So it, I, I swear I that was a recording and this is live. I promise. Also, I'm I here. Hi. Hello. Hi. I came back to the uh, to the uh, the the food, the food portion of this stream in the hopes that that means that I will actually um, somehow focus and do a food. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I, I literally dropped it. Yes, I did. Yes. Um, I, I Greg, he says, did you know 90% of cake drop miracles happen in the fire kitchen? Dirtle says, no, Leah, we need to know what will happen to the cake batter. You saw, you saw it. You've seen it twice every single time I use the clip player. <laughs> Ew, change your clothes. I'm not going to go change them now, but I, I, I do. I do. I wear a different dress for every stream. I mean, not not every stream. Obviously, I have to wash them and then, you know. Anyway, you know, you guys know what I mean. Um, Brigitte says, when you need more clips, we should make more clips. It's not that. It's the player. Um, I know that when Dr. Andy started this, he had kind of like a... How much water do I need here? Um, I'm making... A, one cup plus two tablespoons. Okay. Um, I'm making um I'm making burger buns. And so let's just go ahead and do that because you know that seems good. That's close enough. Um <laughs> yes, all in this dress. Exactly. Only clip me when I'm wearing this dress. Actually, I really like this dress, so I'm I would be okay with that. <laughs> um uh, or display Chester sleeping every time. I could do that. I could do that. I usually start with that one, but I felt like it didn't match the energy of the moment. Um, we, we can't go from, we can't go from unicorn strippers to Chester sleeping. We can't, we can go from unicorn strippers to, to anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, Dirtle says quickly, say something clippable. Pies, hi. Hey, Leah, guess what? Guess what? I don't know what. Hi, Pies. It's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for that pie. That shout out for Pies. Oh, no! <laughs> pies has... Pies has redeemed tell the joke. I, this, is, this is every time... Every time Pies gets 69,420 channel points, Pies redeems tell the joke. I, I... I... Oh, my God. It's close enough as how I pour my drinks. That's fair. That's totally fair. <sighs> Brigitte is delighted. Dirtle is delighted. Grog hates all of you. Yeah! Let it out! Let the disco but happen. first, we're gonna do a little dance. <laughs> Oh, I'm sore! Grog says sw switches headphones to a random YouTube channel. We did side planks and bar, and now my, like, like, the, like, the, not just my obliques, but, like, like, right here. Not exactly my lower back, but, like, it's all sore. So this hurts. <laughs> I should have probably done some yoga or something today. Um, <laughs> Turtles says, okay, who picked that number? That's a mods number for sure. I picked it because it's terrible it's the worst number i could think of and that's one of the number that i wanted to use in order to let people make me tell this joke greg never thought she'd hear it okay here's the joke all right so a man was building a house out of bricks and when he finished building the house he had one brick left over so he threw it over his shoulder <laughs> that's the joke Wait, okay, Th that's part of the joke. <laughs> There's another part to the joke. Um, the, the, <laughs> the, the, there was, there was, you guys just have to roll with this, okay? Just roll with it. It's all fine. Roll with it. There was two, there was a man and a woman on an airplane. They're seatmates, man and a woman on an airplane. And the man had a cigar and he was smoking this really stinky, awful, cheap cigar, okay? And the woman had... A, like a little like lap lap dog like little yippy poodle lap dog in her lap and the the dog is like 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 bark 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 and <laughs> and <laughs> yes smoking on a plane yes and 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 the dog and the dog in his lap 
And finally, the man turns to the woman. He's like, I cannot take it anymore. You've got to get rid of that dog. I, I just can't take the barking. And the woman was like, my dog, that cigar, that cigar is so disgusting. How can you even like smoke it? And, and he's like, okay, well, fine, fine. I have plenty of cigars at home. I'll just, I'll just throw this one out the window. And the woman is like, okay, fine, fine. I have plenty of dogs at home. It's fine. I'll just throw this one out the window. And so the cigar and the dog, they go out the window. And they get just go through the rest of the flight and they're happily chatting. Everything's going fine. They finally land at their destination. And the man turns and he looks out the window and he says, oh my gosh, look, there's a dog on the window. I mean, there's a dog on the wing. And what does it have in its mouth? What does it have in its mouth? <laughs> the brick! <laughs> Doodle's a genius! <laughs> no, 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 not the cigar. It has to be the brick. It's only funny if it's the brick. Actually, nobody thinks it's funny but me, and that's why I make people tell me, make people pay me 69,420 channel points. Tell it again. Mr. Design Cook says I'm ripping a wait what oh ripping it because I started the smoke you can't mess this joke up if you tried I totally can <laughs> um <laughs> that number maps to a postal zone in Mexico really <laughs> I think it's hilarious I'll be back for more in a few weeks <laughs> Turtle thinks it's funny. See, Turtle and I have a very similar sense of humor. <laughs> Mr. Design Cook says, I think the cigar would be a kick-ass punch. <laughs> Rajisa says, speaking of tiny dogs, how's best dog? Well, thank you for redeeming. Tell the joke, Pies. I love you a lot, even though you redeemed that. Um... <laughs> Grog turned off the Queen YouTube channel. Right, let's make some bread, shall we? Let's make burger buns. I have here one cup plus two tablespoons of water. It's fairly warm. It's warm enough. Um, uh, I need to put oil and sugar. Oh, dissolve the yeast in it. Okay, so two tablespoons, not two teaspoons. I have a teaspoon. I need a tablespoon. Um, I swear. I know how to do this. I've done it a hundred times. Two tablespoons of active dry yeast. Do, 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 one. Seems like a lot of yeast. Like more yeast than I'm used to, but it's fine. I have done this before. Um. <laughs> Wait, uh, Brigitte's is royalist. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he means the band, not the actual queen. Um. <laughs> oh um right so today we're making hamburgers <laughs> um and because i have a lot of ground beef in my freezer and also we haven't made burgers in a while and so that sounded good to me um, i'm gonna roast some broccoli that's back there on the stove that i'll just remember to stick in the oven at some point um but right now i'm making burger buns from scratch because it snowed and i didn't want to go out and get burger buns and then grog decided he wanted to go out anyway and bought me burger buns which is nice but i'm still gonna make them um <laughs> Pies' best dog is sleeping gave him a bath and he tried to run so fast all the wet would be left behind it didn't work but he's very tired now that's really good it's good tired dogs are good dogs um uh okay uh Chester's favorite snack related song. Mr. Design Cook says, oh, yes, let's see how you do it. I was a grill chef. No way. AKA Hispanic cuisine. Amazing. Uh, grill. Um, I, I've never I've never I've never been a professional chef. I um, I worked in a restaurant. Actually, I worked in several restaurants, but I was a baker. So I would bake off things like cookies and cakes and, and stuff. And I never I never like worked the line or anything. So I this is this is all just self-taught. So if I do it wrong, just yell at me. Um, Dirtle says, do you want it all? So that means you want to ride your bicycle. So you can use those spare burger buns for beans. No, I can throw them in the freezer is what we can do with them. It'll be fine. Pies is lurking to make dinner. That's really good. It's the perfect temperature. If I if I put it down, I'll never have another sip of perfect temperature tea ever again. 
Mm. Mr. Design Cooks is no judgment. I've seen home cooks better than chefs. I don't think I'm better than a chef, but um, I, I don't I don't suck either. <laughs> um, OK, so um, that is fizzing nicely, which is the only thing I was waiting for. I didn't want to go ahead and put other ingredients in there if it wasn't going to foam. You never really know about yeast that you've had in the fridge because sometimes it just dies. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a quarter cup of sugar. That seems like a lot of sugar, but here we are. American bread. It's fine. Um, let's do quarter cup of sugar. And then I gather canola oil, a third of a cup of canola oil. Okay. Um, canola oil is back here somewhere. Yes. Um, okay. Dirtle says, but Grog, do you really want it all? Do you want to break free? Grog says, but nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Depends on the chef. Yeah. Uh, so Mr. Design Cook says, if you have a passion to cook good food, you're beating most. Paycheck chefs, I call them the bad ones. I mean, yeah, you know, it's funny because like, I feel like, I, weirdly, you know, so in the, I was pretty lucky where I worked. Um, I, um, I, I worked for a restaurant group that had two coffee houses, kind of a higher end, like restauranty bistro kind of place, a barbecue restaurant, and then kind of a more like, like mid priced, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to how, like, it wasn't exactly a cafe, but it was like a little bit like not as like high end fine dining. Um, and everyone that I worked with there was just really like typically just really happy to be there. <laughs> it was mostly just a really nice place to work until it wasn't. And that was fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're, they're yeah, the, the people that I worked with, I would say were generally like pretty into food. Like, and the thing that was cool about it was that of course, most of them were, were Latino. Right. And, and so it was fun to do like, <laughs> to be like working in a kitchen and a learning a little bit of Spanish, which is always fun. And then two and, and B wait, a two. Yeah. A two, whatever. Um, what was cool was that um, when like lunchtime would roll around, like sometimes we'd just kind of throw together stuff from like out of the walk-in or whatever, and it would be fine. Sometimes we'd just order off the menu we if we had time to like actually sit and eat, which is not that usual, but it happened. But then sometimes somebody would just like throw together a huge pan of something delicious, like for like I mean like a family meal basically, but it wasn't like officially like the family meal. It was just kind of like, hey, I'm making this thing. Do you want some? And I'd be like, yeah, sure, you know, whatever. And it was always really good. <laughs> like, it was always really, really good. I took pictures. Uh, uh, like, I'm not. I don't have my. I, I have a streaming Instagram account now that's like separated from my personal Instagram. But on some of my personal Instagrams, still, still some of the things that people had made me over the years for lunches, with like, and like, what's funny is they kind of can't help themselves. They can't stop themselves from like making the plate all pretty <laughs> when they bring it to you. <laughs> Which is really funny. So you can tell that, like, it was a good place full of people who liked working there. It was nice. All right. Abby says, transports Brigitte to the Hamburglar's lair with a matching striped shirt and a dozen McChickens. <laughs> Dirtle says, I just realized I know way too many Queen slash Mercury lyrics relative to how much I like the music. Grog says, Queen is the music of my youth. You are not that old. Dirtles is not that I dislike them. It's just not my absolute favorite. Abby, here, let me show you. Where's the twine? Here it is. Okay. It's this much. Do you see? It's like all the way down. But I don't know that it's going to be enough for your purposes. Like, I feel like, like, I don't know. And also it might like shed. I'm not really sure. What do you think? I'm happy to send it to you if you want it. But hopefully that that is like relative to your gives you a sense of what what we're working with here. It might be too thin and not enough. All right. Fair. I just thought I would offer 
And I figured it would be easier to show it to you on stream than it would be to continue to try to like take pictures or make a video or something. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know, whatever. It's a community. It's fine. Um, Alpine says, to be frank, Queen is the music of my youth and present too. They just go that hard. You are, it actually, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just, I was surprised that it wasn't in the box that I expected it to be in. And so I knew it had, there was another drawer that it had to be in. And it was, it was just, I had moved it from one place to the other place. It was fine. Um... <laughs> Yes, send our twine to poor twineless Abby. Exactly. All right. So, um, the 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 uh, yeast and stuff is proofing. Um, add the egg, salt, and enough flour to form a, a soft dough. I think I was supposed to do this in a bowl and not in a measuring cup, but I I you know whatever. Um, okay. So let's put it in a bowl. Ugh. And I think are we using all-purpose flour? Yeah, we're using all-purpose flour, so that's fine. Um, hey, Christmas tree spatula. Um, uh, Abby says I'll be lurking as I get some things in order. Of course. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi. It's always good to see you. Thank you for the lurk. Um, but um. But 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 that being the case, I'm like I, I kind of want to I want to see I want to see the completed cat tree. C could I just send you? Could I like send you twine anyway? If you determine how much you need, could I just like I don't know pay you for it? Because <laughs> I want to see it. Like the thing you put in chat in Discord was amazing. Um. Okay. Three to three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. So let me grab another cups cup of cups of cups and the flour which is down here I might actually I might actually need to break into my other bag um let's see uh Grox's Chester has reached the if you will not feed me then you must pet me constantly stage opting out says I was between rolls but I jute got another take what you need that's that's multiple puns but i'm only pushing the button once <laughs> Dirtles says as this is right it's right there in the contract grog says i looked at the adoption papers the spca gave us and the clause is not in there abby says well we bought two rolls of 100 feet each thicker than what you have and i'm done with one column and we're almost through one roll so you need more cool Um, Turtles is that strange. My copy clearly has that clause. Uh, I don't think it works like that, Avi. I mean, I, Dirtle, it's gosh. I'm so confused. I'm confused about the people. All right, one large egg. An egg. Here's an egg. Here's an egg. It's supposed to be at room temperature, but that's going to have to just be close enough. Um, I need a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt. Oops. <clears throat> Here's the salt. Um, Javi says much more and one roll was like 12 bucks. The absurd pricing. That's, you know, still way cheaper than, than, than like a cat tree would be, wouldn't it be? Like, like a, like a, like a pre-built one. I am curious about the like the cost of this entire project because it seems like it's been pretty inexpensive, like impressively inexpensive, considering what you've done. Um, yeast, water, canola oil, sugar, egg, salt, and then flour. Okay. So we're just going to whiskey whiskey this up give it some whiskey business as one of the uh the very few other foodie content creators i watch says i don't know why it's just this one guy that i like so much but i do all right so that is one 
I probably don't need this anymore. I'm going to need like a spoon though. Two. Bobby says we got the wood for free. Had the screws here already. The roll of carpet five by four was 15 bucks and the twine so far is 25 ish, which I suspect we'll need three more rolls at least if we want to cover everything. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, as long as you have an estimate. Um, <laughs> Dirtles is official pet contract. Hello, this is a very official contract between Chester, poor, poor Chester, and the Fireheart household, FHH. Chester will receive pets when he's not being fed. Also, he needs to be fed often and regularly, and walks, walks are good too, but only when it's warm and not raining. Best regards, signature goes here. Opting out says you have access to a farm type store. Natural versus poly baling twine might work. If so, then you can use the volume as it's going to be much less per unit of length. Interesting. <laughs> Dirtles is there. Grog, I copied the contract into chat. <sighs> Poor long-suffering Grog. He is not convinced. I think I'm going to need ex the extra flour. This is three to three and a half. I think we're going to need the half because this is still very wet. Although, I mean, it is still fairly wet, but I think it says I'm going to turn it out onto a floured surface, egg, salt, and flour form a soft dough. Knead until smooth and elastic, three to five minutes. Do not let rise. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let me get this other half cup. Don't worry. I have more flour. It's fine. And then we're going to put the other piece of that half cup here. <clears throat> Oops, I just got flour everywhere. Um, okay. <laughs> Dirtles is grog. It says official contract. More, more do you want? A signature, Dirtle. A signature. Greg, he says financial compensation for his emotional distress. <laughs> oh, so now is, wait, is Gorecki Grog's lawyer? Is that how this is working now? <laughs> I'm going to have to take all of this to like the International Criminal Court or something. <laughs> All right. Avi says we have a tractor supply nearby, and that's where we got the jute twine. Um, we're going to avoid the poly one because the cats love chewing things. So we didn't want them to chew on the phrase. The thicker one was 34-ish for 100 foot, so I don't know, maybe. If not, we're just going to cover the post with some other kind of scratchable fabric instead. Aha. Interesting. <laughs> Dirtle says where the signature is right there, but I can't copy that into chat. Copying a signature will be illegal. To the Hague with mother. <laughs> the, the best SBCA. Yes, the best one. <laughs> All right. I, ha I have, I believe, uh, like a bit all right so this is a now smooth elastic dough but i'm going to knead it for a little bit longer because it said three to five minutes um 
<laughs> Gorecki's lowering style is a mix of the Red Queen and a sugared up six year old retain at own risk. I, 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 that appeals to me immensely. But then again, that's not that surprising. You appeal to me immensely. So uh, I think that would work out just fine. At least uh, for, for me. I, I, I don't know about Grog. All right. Now, what are we doing here? Uh, right. Do not rise. Divide into 12 sh pieces. Shape each into a ball. Okay, I'm going to just use a little bit more flour here because I'm a little bit concerned that it's like sticking. So there we go. Let's just shape that into like this. And then I'm going to get my dough thing that cuts the stuff. <laughs> I know that's just very precise. It's a bench scraper. I should probably just say that. Um, <laughs> uh, opting out says I know we used to sell sisal rolls sisal rolls that were thousands of feet big things it was a feed mill oh interesting okay so we're gonna cut these into 12 pieces so like so like so and they used to do these at the restaurant. They would do, wait a second, how? Because I'm not going to do 12. I'm going to do eight because I don't want to try to divide things in thirds. And also my recollection is that these made kind of small hamburger buns at, at 12. So I'm going to do, going to do eight instead. Like, like that. Okay. And then we're going to roll these. Um, uh, let's see. Turtle says, you know what happens to give, to people who give wrong answers to quizzes. Wait, what? It, are you going to, are you going to, they die horribly? I thought you were just going to bean ban him. Um. <laughs> Oh, oh, right, 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 right. The, 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 the what's a majiggy? The, the, the Jackbox games from yesterday. Right. <laughs> Turtle says, as far as I recall, I was the only one to be alive when we reached the final round. That is true. You were alive once, and I think Sunny was alive once. Um. <laughs> Grog says, and I stole your life and won. You did do that. Grog, um, Grog did win at least one round. Brigitte won several rounds. Dirtle is bean banning, dying horribly. Grog is bean banning Brigitte winning quizzes. I mean, Brigitte, I think, won one won quiplash, right? Wasn't that what Brigitte won? Okay, and now uh, shape each into a ball, place three inches apart on greased baking sheets, preheat the oven to 325. Okay, now my recollection is I liked to have these have a little bit of like flowery sprinkle on top more as like decoration than anything okay i'm gonna wash my hands here give me a second and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna put on these burgers
All right. Bowl. A greased baking sheet. I think the last time I did this, I just sprayed parchment. And in order to put them three inches apart, I have to put them on two separate trays. <clears throat> and we're preheating to 425. All right. So, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to cover them up. One, two, three. Four. These look kind of small. I'm a little concerned. I feel like maybe I actually did six instead of twelve, but it there's six instead of eight, but it's okay. We're 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 gonna go we're gonna go with that. And if we have to, we can use the regular burger buns, which are also actually not that big. Oops. Um <laughs> Lily, hi! Wait, Dirtles is not to get all corny, but in my book, we all won because we all had fun. I definitely had fun. I'm glad you did too. Um, Lily, hi. Sorry, I was tutoring. Well, that's okay. Thanks for, for stopping in and saying, hey, it's always good to see you. I hope it went well. I'm just, I'm just adding flour to my to my flour bin. I always buy extra flour around Christmas because they put it on sale. And so I think that might be the last of the Christmas flour. Dirt is lurking, no worries. That broccoli looks like it's getting roasted. It sure is. It sure is. It is getting roasted. And um, we are baking burger buns. And these are all things that are happening. They're actually happening. So exciting. Um, let me throw this all in the sink. <sighs> now, I didn't end up using this tiny whisk, so I'm just gonna put that one away. Uh, I did use this though. We're gonna wash that. Um, uh, I also love a good roasted broccoli. I actually prepped it ahead of stream just because I like I you guys have seen me roast broccoli like 300 times. Roasted broccoli is just like our our go to easy peasy like vegetable thing. Um, so that that tends to be what I default to when I'm not entirely sure. Um, <laughs> look at you being a chef like the best. Thank you. Um, also the other thing I did is that these, these, um, these, um, the dirtle, you'll be a dirtle who has now gone for a lurk, um, will be happy to hear this. Um, because, um, I, I also have this bowl they, they had, they had particularly lavish stems and Greg and I are not particularly stem people. We both like the the like crackly leaves when they're ra when they're roasted. So I chopped up some of the stem and I put it in this water and I'm going to microwave it and it's going to be Chester treats. <laughs> so Chester's going to get some, uh, some, some, some boiled slash steamed or whatever broccoli. Um, roasted. Yes. Like in the oven. Exactly. Have you guys never seen me do this before? <laughs> I feel like I do this all the time, but maybe I just kind of like do it at the end of stream and I don't really talk about it. I just kind of like, oh yeah, that's right. Vegetables and chuck some broccoli in the oven. Yeah. Boiled broccoli stems for jesters. <laughs> exactly. Um, so now we have to figure out what I'm going to put on my burgers. Um, let's take a quick look here at what we've got in the fridge. I have iceberg lettuce. I have 
jalapeno. I have tomato. I have two empty bags, the purpose of which is unclear. <laughs> I have I have a couple of tomatoes. I have a jalapeno. Um I have let's see what else we have. What else do we have in here? We have some salsa. We have roasted red peppers. We have olives. I have fig jam. I have, let's see, pickle relish. More pickle relish. Various different kinds of pickle relish. All the pickle relish. Um, <gasps> maple bacon onion jam. That sounds like a thing we should put on a burger. I am disinterested in lettuce and tomatoes. I am going to put maple bacon onion jam on this burger. I am also going to, I need a knife. Here it is. I'm going to slice this jalapeno and I'm going to move my broccoli out of the way. And I'm going to roast the jalapeno as well. Slice it up, seeds and all. These, I know these are not particularly hot. But I think that would be delicious on top of a burger. So I'm going to do that. Bacon, maple, onion, jalapeno. What else? I'm just going to spray some olive oil on that while I'm thinking about it. Also salt and pepper on all of it. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Chester loves vegetables. It's hilarious. He does. He loves broccoli. Actually, the first time we gave him vegetables, um, it was actually steamed bok choy. And he was like, nom, 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 gobble, gobble, gobble. And then whined until we gave him more. So Chester is is a big fan of vegetables. It's really funny. Um, Alpine says I'm not the most attentive and usually steam broccoli. That's how my mother always made it. And I think it's perfectly fine steamed. I like it just fine. Um, I just I like it better roasted. Um, Lily says I love to simulate roasting broccoli in a stoneware pot in the microwave. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I don't use my microwave for anything but melting butter. <laughs> Oh, and heating up green beans for the dog. Um, <laughs> Grog says if he smells it cooking in the microwave, he'll camp out in front of it and whines until he gets his share. It's true. Like if I have like frozen, like especially this time of year, frozen broccoli, like we'll use frozen broccoli a lot. And so if we microwave it, then he gets, and that's basically steamed. So he gets some. Um, opting out says surely a burger would wear some sort of hat. No. Um, so if you want someone to wear a hat, you can redeem that at Dr. Andy 23's channel in approximately an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lily says I used to be one of those kitchenware consultants just because of stoneware. Really interesting. I did not know that. Um, I, um, I haven't, I haven't ever really bought like kitchen stuff from, from places like that. Um, I have, I, <laughs> weirdly, I never, I never sold it. Okay. So I never, I never sold this stuff. I was never part of the, part of the scheme, but, um, but, um, but, uh, Lou LaRoe, uh, a number of my friends were like, oh my God, these leggings are the best things ever. And initially they were, and then they started having production problems and their quality went downhill. And then it turned out that they were scamming people. And so that's a problem. Um, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, and so now it doesn't exist anymore. But, um, but I, but I, I used to really love them. They were really, really soft. Uh, and, and so that's really the only kind of thing like that, that I've bought from, from like consultants. Um, oh, and Stella and Dot. 
I went through a period of 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 occasionally running into Stellan Stellan dot sellers that at like community events, and I I liked some of the jewelry that I have. I have I still have one piece that's like a like a resin. It looks like a piece of coral kind of that I still get compliments on whenever I wear it. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, Brigitte says, so what would you wear in the kitchen on a big cooking day? I got everything I wanted from the kitchen wear place and got out. There we go. Good. Santos says, yeah, we watched an entire doc documentary about the fall, rise and fall of LuLaRoe. Did you? There's a documentary? Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, Gorecki says, oh yeah, all MLMs are, they were great in the beginning. Yeah, I, I need to see that. I need to see that. I want to see it. Um, I, honestly, like of every, of everyone that I know, I think Lily has the most, like the most, um, like, like, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like the absolute best, I mean, I'm just going to say the absolute best fashion sense. <laughs> Lily always looks absolutely amazing with makeup to match. And so if I were going to take anyone's advice on how to, um, dress for a big cooking day, it would be Lily's. Um. <laughs> yeah. Also, you do have a varied wardrobe, which probably helps the the awesomeness of it. But that's but it's very cool. Um, Lily says I was thinking I would probably be dressed for whatever I was planning to make. Yeah, I I should I should dress for what the things that I intend to make, and it, it should also include an apron. But I almost never do that. Um. All right. What else needs to go on? So we've got. Maple bacon onion jam. I might use some of the iceberg lettuce just for some crunch because that's all we've got. Um, and the roasted jalapenos, which I think are going to be really good. What else do we have? What else do we have up here that's crunchy? We have zesty ranch sweet potato fries. Those would be really good with a burger, but I don't think that I, I don't think we're going to put them on the burger. Oh, my God. There are things falling everywhere. The the my my dinosaur has taken a has taken a little spill. Also, my trophy. We'll put those back up later because right now they're just kind of in the way. Um, Sweet potato fries are really good. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um. <laughs> You love my Pinterest aesthetic. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so let's see. What else? What else do I have laying around that would go on a burger? That might honestly be it. That might be all I have that I think would be good. Brigitte says pickle. Grog says dill. Brigitte says no. Grog says yes. I do have dill. I do. I have dill. But I don't, I don't, I don't know that that's really great with the maple bacon onion thing. So <laughs> this is my cool versus warm flavor thing happening again. Um, dill is a cool flavor and maple bacon and onion are all warm flavors. And so I don't love that idea. If I weren't so the whole the whole concept is I'm if like if I didn't have the maple in it, right? If I didn't have the maple in it, I would candy the jalapeno slices. But because I do have the maple in it, I'm just gonna do them roasted. It's gonna be fine. Sweet pickles would be better. Pre-made hash brown. You want me to put potatoes on a bagel? I mean not not a bagel. On a on a burger. Because I actually do, I do have these. I have, but they're frozen and they take a while to do. I guess I could use the microwave. I have these, these shredded hash browns. <laughs> should, should, I guess it could be like, 
It could be a breakfast burger. I could fry some eggs. Rashid says I've had hash brown in a burger and it's worked. We could do that. It could be a breakfast burger. Is that fun? Because it's already got, it's got maple and bacon. And, 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 and then we could put an egg on top. Grog, what do you think? Are you in? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> okay. Then, um, let me find something that's microwave safe to microwave these in. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> also, Grog gives up. He's feeding the dog. I mean, that's probably enough, right? <laughs> okay. I'll let you get the green beans. And I think I just need to, like, after Grog's done microwaving the, microwaving the green beans for the dog. Oh, wait, he was supposed to have broccoli. Oh, well, it's okay. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, that, like, it's hard to know, like, how much this is actually going to cook up to be. I thought I would make, like, little patties. And if we don't eat the little patties to today, we can, we can fry them up again tomorrow for breakfast. Um, <laughs> the, we'll see how well this works. <laughs> they have a fair bit of moisture in them from being in the freezer. So we'll see. We'll see. How, we'll see what happens. But we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Um, has my oven preheated yet? No, it hasn't. Okay. So we're just going to wait for that. I'm excited. This is fun. And then I can put like, I was going to say I could put some hot sauce on it, but I don't have to because it's going to have the jalapenos. This is going to be good. Oh, I'm excited now. This is going to be fun. We'll do over easy eggs. Just one egg on each. Um, and it could even have ketchup on it. Grog likes ketchup on his burgers. All uh, right. So let's go ahead and throw these in the microwave. And I'm just trying to defrost them. So what do we think? Like 45 seconds? Usually when I make these, I like actually, you know, like defrost half the bag and don't just like carve off a chunk. See, I knew my tea was going to get cold and it did. Hmm. It's lukewarm now, which is fine. I think this is fun. This is a fun, this is a fun concept for a burger. I like it. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Just get this out of the way. Um, and these never got used. I'm gonna have to, like... They're very icy. I think that's all right. I'm going to I'm going to put them in for another couple of seconds just so that it like melts a little bit more. But not long, like another like 15 seconds. And then the bro broccoli's going in the oven. The burger buns are going in the oven and we can make the burgers.
Yeah, so I think the best way to do this is going to be to like to make like two like patties and fry them in oil. I think that's going to work. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. But we're going to do the eggs that way too. So I have to think about the order of this. I probably want to do... Well, I think I probably want to do the burgers in a separate pan. <clears throat> I don't cook like this very often on the channel. I cook like this pretty often when I'm just like cooking dinner. <laughs> but I usually try to actually have like a recipe when I cook for you guys. Um, just because like I feel like it's more, I don't know, like fair. Um, actually, I might just have to do the buns first and then the broccoli because I don't want the broccoli to get cold. So let's just leave that out for a minute. Um, <laughs> Coffee zombie, hi. <laughs> How are you? Um, are you doing hash brown buns? That sounds interesting. No. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, I, I made burger buns. So we're having regular burger buns. <laughs> but um, in trying to figure out what to put on the burgers, because we're having a use it up week on the channel. So I'm pulling things out that I happen to have in the refrigerator that I bought for like specific things. And then we're like, working around what we want to use up. So I have this, which is, I don't know if you can read it, bacon, maple, onion, jam. And I thought the like, maple bacon sounded like breakfast and somebody joked about putting hash browns on a burger and I was like yes so we're gonna make hash brown patties we're gonna put it on top of the burger and then we're gonna put a fried egg on top and then the ma maple bacon onion jam so we're gonna make gourmet breakfast burgers I'm going to try it. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, but here, if you see, you could, there's the, the burger buns are, are proofing. They're about to go in the oven. Um, <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little bit of an experiment. We'll see how they are. I'm going to finish my tea before it gets utterly and completely cold. Stick with me, and you'll never go hungry again! Alice! Hi! <laughs> Thank you for the subscription, my friend. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate You're it. Thank you. Cupcake. <laughs> Enjoy your emotes and your continued ad-free stream viewing. It's really good to see you. Um, I know you had a big, exciting adventure last week. Um, are you glad to be home or are you completely just, just completely like, like desolate <laughs> to, to leave, to leave all the, all the wonderful people that you left? I'm glad to have you back on the East Coast and in the same time zone, though. Um, Gorecki says without a re recipe, Leah is still top tier from that description. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, <laughs> Alice is so sad she's not there anymore. I'm sorry. I kind of thought you might feel that way, but, 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 but yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have you back. And are we, oh, and I think you were, were you back at work today? I think I remember you said you had an extra day, but I think that was Monday. So I guess you were back at work today. I'm sorry about that. Um, right. So these buns are going in the oven. Give me a moment here. I have extra, like, I have extra towels now. Um, I only have the two things here. So we'll just go ahead and stick those in the oven. Let's put our pans on the stove top over here. Um, today was the first day back. Ah, yuck, yucky, I'm sorry. 
Uh, Lily said we had a snow day here. We had a snow day here too. <laughs> I don't actually live that far away from Lily, so <laughs> so I'm not surprised to hear that you also had a snow day. Um, yeah, Grog had a snow day, although he did do some teleworking, um, but uh, not the whole day. And then um, and 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 we didn't really go outside except to walk the dog. Um. <laughs> uh right so um we are in fact queuing up another ad break um this will be three minutes of ads if you are not subscribed um then you will see a few ads um it, but stick with it because um that is what lets us have ad free viewing for the rest of the hour um for everyone including new people who come in um so um yeah so we're gonna if you are subscribed though you're gonna see something else <laughs> but i am going to take a short break so um i will see you guys back here in three minutes there we're back um <laughs> uh <laughs> desert's cute like lily is lurking for a workout lily enjoy your workout thanks for stopping in and saying hi it's always good to see you um so the one thing that i did do during the break was i just pulled out this um this package of ground beef that i have um i'm just gonna put this in a bowl um i'm gonna season it actually um but there's gonna be a lot 
going on here. So I'm not going to do anything too spectacular with it. Um, give me a second. Wash my hands. I'm just going to do salt and pepper, I think. Because there's going to be a lot going on there. Oh, right. I didn't put a timer on the rolls. I should probably do that. How long do they take? 8 to 12 minutes. Okay. Well, that was 3 minutes. So let's do 10. That'll be fine. Um... <laughs> yeah he's so cute when he's sleeping he's not sleeping now though where is he oh i actually ran to the restroom during the break when i came out he was like can i go in i was like no <laughs> All right, don't want to handle this too much. So let's just divide this into four patties. Four lumps. We'll make them into patties in a bit. <laughs> Des says, don't you know you're not allowed to go by yourself? Yes, Des is in fact a parent. No, I am definitely allowed to go to the bathroom by myself. Um, I should have actually grabbed a plate for these before I... Oh, well, we'll just put them back in here. Maybe not ideal, but it'll be okay. Um, <laughs> Des is me never. No, you definitely are. Otherwise, I think you have some explaining to do about mini does. <laughs> Grog says the problem is that Chester wants to go in the bathroom and raid the trash can. He does. Yeah, he does want to go in the bathroom and raid the trash can. That Chester thinks that the, the bathroom trash can is the most interesting place in the house. One never knows what delights one might find in there. Preferably, pañuelos. <laughs> Brigitte says, hey, baby. New conspiracy theory just dropped. Mini Des is a wizard's homunculus. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, no, I don't, I don't think so, Brigitte. <laughs> Des is how did you know? <laughs> All right, there are our burger patties. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour, usually I use kind of like a, like a spray for doing fried eggs, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour enough oil in the bottom here to fry up these hash brown patties um and then i'm kind of thinking <laughs> oh i see brigitte says brigitte says that 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 mini does has to be a wizard's hum homunculus because she's too well behaved i mean that's fair 
So ideally, like, see, these kind of have like a little bit of a, of a, like a binder in them, I think already. But they might just be shredded potatoes. I probably should have just looked at the batter, like the, the thing. But I'm just going to basically form them into patties. We, we will probably like press them down a little bit when we get them into the pan. But for the moment, I want, <laughs> I want to maintain as much structural integrity as I can. There we go. And of course, there's potato all over the laptop now. That's exactly what I want. Um, there. And then let me also grab eggs. Two eggs. La potato top. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's kind of amazing that my laptop still works, if I'm honest. I've like I've I've sprayed it with olive oil. It's gotten meringue on it. Like I, <laughs> I, I you know, everybody's always like, oh, you know, you have to keep your keyboard clean and they have like these special keyboard cleaning tools and they use like canned air and like some people will take their keyboard apart and like clean all the parts and pieces and everything and they're just so fastidious about it. And me, I'm just like, yeah, I just throw flour on it. It's fine. <laughs> Quantum. <laughs> Hi. I'm sorry, Brigitte is giving you a stroke. Should she translate it into French? <laughs> can Brigitte pun in French? She probably can. <laughs> anyway, it's really good to see you. <laughs> How are things? I haven't talked to you at all today. Oh, wait, I did. For a while, actually. <laughs> Um, on Tuesdays, we play Fortnite together early in the day. I mean, every day we play Fortnite together, but, but, but on Tuesdays, it's literally scheduled. It's like in the calendar. <laughs> Quantum says, I'd rather not pun, ma'am. You don't have to. Brigitte will do it for you. See, look. Oh, hello, la Quantum Mop de Terre. Yes, that's the appropriate face for that, Mops. A the very appropriate face for that. But I'm still going to push the pun button because it still counts. <sighs> Terrible. I think that needs to be a little hotter. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the oil to come up to temperature. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at that number. Look at the number. I didn't even notice. That was the 1200th pun in this chat. I looked at someone. I can't remember who I was watching. Was it Santa? It might have been Santa and thinking... Maybe I'm just more diligent about counting them than other people are. I really hope that's the case. 1,200. I didn't even. So, okay. I've been streaming since March of 2021. I started streaming March 1st of 2021. It's now, wait, 2022. 2022? I've, shit. This, this is 2024, right? Oh, yeah. So March 1st of 2022. So I've not quite been streaming for two years. And I didn't. And I didn't start counting puns right away. I just, they would make me groan. And I, I said I was only going to count them when I got them. And I don't always get them. And so, like, sometimes other people count them. All the mods can do the pun thing. But, like, trust me, 1,200 is a lot. <laughs> 
Brigitte says I dedicate that to my my that pun to my Canadian friend slash victim, Lumops. Yes, it was 2022. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and 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 fry these these potato nonsenses. Let's see if this works. Okay, hopefully that works. I'm going to just flatten these out a little bit. Because I want them to stay more or less together. That's a lot of oil, actually. That's kind of more oil than I intended, but oh well, whatever. It's fine. Um, all right, and I think the buns should be more or less ready to come out. I might have to move them around a little bit. Because I'm not sure the ones on the bottom browned as evenly as the ones on the top. No, they didn't. Okay. So these ones are done. They're a little bit small. I think I would do six. I think I would do um, six of them for burger buns um, instead of eight. Um, but, uh, but I couldn't, I didn't remember that. So I will, uh, I will amend it. I will add that. Um, I will add that uh, amendment to the, actually, you know what? That's not great. Where I need another, like, here. Um, uh, yeah, I will amend that um, on, the, on the recipe um, on the website. Um, so we, I, I would do, but they look good, right? Like, they're, they're good. And they're actually not, um, like, here's the regular hamburger buns from the, bur from the hamburger, like the, the grocery store. They're not terribly different. But, like, I think I would rather have a slightly bigger bun. So. Um, <laughs> Dirtle says, but then you'll only have six buns. That's okay. It's all right. How will you make eight, make eight burgers with six buns? I'm only making four burgers. Dirtle. There's only four. <laughs> I'm only making four burgers. And then I'm making two crab cake sandwiches at some later date at some point later this week so it's okay if i only have six buns six buns is actually perfect um <laughs> turtle says turns out i didn't leave the oven on well thank you for checking i wouldn't want you to burn down your house yeah! Mom thinks we need a party. Did you finish something? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Girdle, the math adds up because crab cakes. Is, is this the pun party? Is this the 1200th pun party? Is that what we're doing this morning? Thank you for the bits. Um, yeah, the 1200 puns. All right. Fantastic. Um, yeah, the, yeah. Crab cake sandwiches. Yeah. So that was the other accidental, uh, imperfect foods purchase. We inadvertently acquired, um, t two, two random crab cakes from the, uh, from the grocer. So, um, I was going to make crab cake sandwiches out of them, um, at some point this week, later in the week. Yeah, see, these are holding together pretty good. I like it. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. This will work. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the broccoli in the oven. What did I do with the broccoli? Oh, it's over here. Because that takes about 20 minutes. Um, Let me just turn these buns, the other four buns. And those probably need about two minutes. Um, but crab cakes aren't burgers. They're not, but they are burger adjacent, at least in the hands of anyone from Maryland. Turtle says, why are you making crab cakes when you want burgers? I'm not making crab cakes today. I'm making burgers. Look, you see burger meat. It's a burger turtle. <laughs> They'll do it a pinch. I <laughs> crabs. Pinch. <laughs> I'll pinch you. 
<laughs> I'm not probably supposed to threaten my chat. That's probably not something that's that's encouraged by Twitch as a as a way of as a way of 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 um interacting with one's channel chat. <laughs> Um, what's in the pan? Oh, uh, so um, Quantum, we're making breakfast burgers because we looked in the fridge and we tried to figure out what to put on our burger and we found maple bacon jam and maple bacon sounded to me like breakfast and Brigitte had the idea to put hash browns on a bacon on a burger and I was like, actually, though, I have hash browns. And so we decided to put hash browns and then I'm going to fry an egg and we're going to put ba ba maple bacon, onion jam, hash browns and an egg on these burgers. That's the plan. Um, Dirtle says, look, I won't tell you how to do things, but I'm not convinced you're doing it right. <laughs> Des is just out of JK and you're all good. Yeah. Pinch, pinch, JK. <laughs> um, <laughs> Greg, this is your chat. You can pinch whenever you want. I, 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 I think I should probably only be pinching with consent. Um, okay, so burger buns. These are done. All right, excellent. Love that for me. Um, I'm just gonna put them here because, by the way, don't do this. Don't do what I'm doing. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, don't. Touch hot buns with bare fingers. I said what I said. Um, I'm actually putting this pan back in the oven because I don't have anywhere else to put it at the moment. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! These are burning. Oh, no, they're fine. Actually, they're totally fine. It's the little like the little bits and pieces that are. Well, actually, though, that one is a little darker than I would have expected, but they're they're fine. Can you can you guys see that? You guys can't see that on any camera. Sorry. <laughs> um, Give me a second and I'll show it to you. I'm just going to get the um the little hash brown bits out of the pan so that I can use this for the eggs. I'm really glad that I'm too busy to look at chat right now after what I said. <laughs> okay, so actually let's just, um, I think that's actually too much oil. So I'm just going to pour some of it off <clears throat> to dispose of properly later. That's probably fine. All right, now let's heat our burger pan. Okay. Um <laughs> Mom says, didn't we bring you that jam from Chinkatig? No, I bought it for something. I can't remember what we used it for. Do you guys remember what I used it for? Um, uh, a breakfast burger without dill. A shocked face. Um, Brian Brigitte says, you are, Des, are you up for a rebrand? Wait, what did Des say? Gertle says, dill is for Sundays. Des says, shh, don't tell me my secret. Why do you think it's taking me so long to stream again? Only touch hot buns with consent. Yes, exactly. What it does say? Uh, I don't know. Also, I'm sure there's some Twitch streamers out there making big bucks off of threatening their chats. You're probably right, actually. Um, Gorecki says, hey, Dirtle, what is crab law regarding non-consensual pinches? Do they even have a concept of consent or do they assume pinch as law? Brigitte says we can see the oil smoking. Really? Huh. Um, anyway... So look, see, here's how the, here's how the, the, the hash browns turned out. I'm just going to throw some salt on them while they're still hot. Um, 
just to make sure that those are, you know, appropriately seasoned. Um, <laughs> Mom says, Dirtle, you're up on that one. What does animal law say about consent by the nonverbal or four-legged? Oh my God. Yeah, we're talking about consensual versus non-consensual pinching. This channel. I swear. I should probably specify that there are crabs involved. Wait. Gosh darn it. <laughs> At least Ashwinder's done with crabs. Okay. Right. <sighs> Dirtle says, that's an interesting question. Thank you very much. We have to go back to the ba basic principles of Roman law, especially dubio pro rio and vini fidi pinchy. Dirtle says, things get complicated once we add. I can't say that. Vini vidi pinchy has made my week. <laughs> adopting out of Greece. I, 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 do, do we put it on a t-shirt with a little crab? <laughs> maybe we can make, maybe we can make vintage, vintage RPG draw us Vini Vini Pinchy. Actually, Gorecki, do you know vintage? You, hold on a second. Let me, let me do a shout out for vintage. Vintage is in the same time zone as you. Um, and, and vintage can, has a channel point redeem. You can make her make balloon animals or you can make her make drawings and, and she, and she plays Baldur's Gate. And also she sometimes plays crab champions, which, which involves a, a, a crab sh shooting things. <laughs> like it's, it's crabs with six shooters. They're very funny. Also vintage is very funny. So you should follow, you should all follow vintage, but Every once in a while, Vintage was, um, will rate us, depending on when we start and when she ends on Thursdays. But right now, the time zones don't match up. <laughs> um, also, Vintage has a doll section of her Discord. Does she? Oh my gosh, I never noticed. Uh, does this look at that? The second of our Leah Mitch merch, Disco Spatula and Vini Vidi Pinchy. It also occurred to me that perhaps I, ha I, I need a moment alone with my burger might not actually make terrible merch. I actually wrote that down the other day because after I watched the, after I played the raid video, I was like, actually, I played that so many times. It's kind of iconic. <laughs> um, Opting out says vintage is a sketchy streamer with sketchy regulars that make her sketch things. Also, that's how I met opting out. So, you know, that place is good. Dirtle says, with all that being said, I myself now have to indulge in the ancient Roman custom of sleeping at night. All right. Good night, Dirtle. Thank you once again for bringing all of your nonsense here. We love it. We don't want you to ever change. Um, sleep well. Uh, and I hope the rest of your evening slash morning, which will start before mine, goes well. Good night. <laughs> um. Brigitte says, I find it hurt humorous that you keep pushing for trust Chester treats besides, despite the lack of animus contra Hendy. What the hell? Opting out says, I'd actually forgotten that. Jar of bees. Yes, the, 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 the Brigitte made vintage draw me throwing jars of bees. <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's uh, fry these eggs, I think. Right? Maybe not. Maybe I should flip the hamburgers first and then fry the eggs because the eggs are going to be fried very quickly. Actually, this is too early to, um, to flip these hamburgers. I should have waited a little longer. Um, 
Um, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yes, that, that vintage is, vintage is great. I actually met vintage through Dr. Andy 23 and then met opting out through vintage. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a complex web of, of delightfulness. See, look, they turned out perfect. They're so good. And they're so easy. Did you see how fast? Like making your own burger buns? So fast. Did I tell the story of why I ended up with this recipe? You would think like, like, um, like pandemic or something. But no. Um, I, um, there was a stream day when, back when we only had one car. We have two cars now, but back when we only had one car, Grog had taken the car to work and I was like, oh shit. I'm making burgers and I don't have buns. And so like before stream, I like threw together this batch of hamburger buns. <gasps> um, but I never streamed it. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever made them on stream. Um, Dirtles this brig. I think you got things confused. I'm specializing in animal, aminal law, not animus. Aminal, big difference. And now I'm really off. Bye, <laughs> Bye Dirtle um okay and then plates because as soon as these eggs come off the heat we're gonna have burgers how's this broccoli doing i'm gonna stir it And I'm going to stir the jalapenos too, but separately. Okay. That's looking good. I think by the time the burgers are done, we'll be ready to eat. I'm kind of a well done burger person. I'm not so much of a, or like a, I mean, at a restaurant, like, I feel differently about it because I know that they get like pretty much daily deliveries of their meat. Um, but for me, I tend to just kind of cook them all the way through when I make them at home. I don't know. It's probably overcautious. All right, let's fry an egg. I'm probably going to do these over easy and I'm probably, I mean, over, over medium to over hard because I don't want to, um, I don't want, when I bite it, I don't want the egg to run down my chin. So I'm just going to put a lid on them and, uh, and probably try to cook them most of the way through. Ideally, I actually prefer eggs over easy to be like super runny yolk, but it's going to make a mess in a burger. So I don't want that. Um, now let's grab a knife and spread some bacon, maple, onion, jam. on these burgers. I'm gonna use kind of a lavish amount because I feel like that's what's called for here. I feel like I had a recipe that called for it and like you could kind of like it like it gave a link to like make your own, but it was going to be a lot of time and a lot of bacon and a lot of onions. And I was like, I don't think so. And so I ended up just buying it because I saw it in the store. <clears throat> That's a little crispier than I meant it to be, but I did want it to be kind of crispy. Come 
Come on. Apart. Apart with you. All right. Or not apart then. How about just flip? But yeah, I'm looking for a crispy egg. I broke the yolk on that one. It's okay. There. Ha ha! Excellent. Crispy eggs are delicious. All right. Off, off, off. Everything is ready. Okay. Here is going to be patty. Patty. Egg. Oh. Egg. Burger. Oh my God. Burger. And then hold on a second. Grog, do you want jalapenos on yours? Okay. And I'm going to put jalapenos on mine because they're not very spicy, I don't think. <clears throat> this one's going to be mine. And let me just test this broccoli with a fork real quick. I think it's probably done. It looks done. It smells done. Mm, actually, I think it wants a few more minutes. I'm going to leave the broccoli in there for a, little, for a little bit. We will eat in courses tonight. It's fine. Yum. Yeah, they're not super spicy. Okay. Okay. Here is our breakfast burger. Hash brown. Crispy fried egg, bacon, maple, onion, jam, and hamburger. <laughs> All right. And Gorecki is off to work. Bye, Gorecki. Thanks for hanging out. It's always really good to see you. Have a good day at work, and we will hopefully see you soon. Um, <laughs> Hi here for all of it, Shark Shark. How are you? Good to see ya. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is going to be very difficult to bite into. It's going to be a very interesting situation, I think. <laughs> this is quite tall. <laughs> it, it should have green stuff on it, but I didn't have appropriate green stuff. I don't know what you would put on something like this anyway. Like, it's, it's... Let's just put this on portrait because this is going to be like complete nonsense. The Graham eats first. That's pretty good. There's a there's a can of Del Monte diced mango in the background, though. That was the other random thing that I got that I got from uh from Imperfect Foods this week. I was like, seriously? Del Monte diced mango? I'm sure we'll find something to do with it. Honestly, it probably wouldn't wouldn't have been bad on a on the right kind of burger. Sorry, I'm being picky today. And I don't really know why. It's just how things are. <laughs> I kind of want, I want both burgers in the picture and I kind of want the burger buns behind them, but I'm kind of running out of space on the counter. And so it's a little bit tricky. Des, <laughs> oh, Brigitte, just wrap it in foil before you try biting it. That's actually kind of a good idea. Um, Des says you put jalapenos. Those are green. I, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, 
Yeah, see, you know what? We're we're into the we're into the situation of everything I do actually makes this worse. Like it it looked better before. Well, we're we're going to do we're going to do this anyway because that way the the burger buns will be in the background. I don't know. I give up. All right. I, I'm sure I'll look at it later and be like, what was my problem? It looks fine. Um, that's what usually happens with me in Instagram pictures. Um, <laughs> here for all it says, you don't need to do it on camera if you're not feeling it. I usually try to take a bite of my stuff before like going offline if I can. We'll see. It's going to mess up my lipstick, but who cares? It's fun. Messy lipstick can be good. There's my my for, my favorite Fortnite character, Highwire, the 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 skin that I wear most often, wears teal lipstick, and it's like smeared like down her lip a little bit, and like she still looks hot. So, like, I guess it's fine to have smeared lipstick. Um, mom says fresh spinach would be good with the egg and potatoes. It actually really would, but I don't have any. Um. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Grog wants dinner. Grog wants dinner. Okay. Um, let me actually see really quick if if those um I'm just gonna move all of these because they're just in my way. Um, let me just quickly see if the broccoli is is pierceable with a fork. Um, yeah, it's still I mean most of it is fine, but some of it is not. So I think it just needs to it just needs to roast for a little bit longer. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ring the dinner bell. And like I said, we will eat in courses tonight. Where the hell is the clanger? Oh, here it is. Dinner is served. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm going to go bring Grog his burger before he revolts, and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so the look on Grog's face when I brought, this, brought him this burger was definitely like, this is the shiz. <laughs> so hopefully it actually tastes good. Um... I, I, I think I'm just going to bite it. It's going to be fine. Um, Shin, hi. How are you? We made a breakfast burger. It's got hash browns and a fried egg on it. And bacon, maple, bacon, maple, onion jam. Maybe what I'll do is now that I have... Let's try that and see if I like that any better. Um, well, oh, wait, here for all of it says this is meta. What's meta? Why is it meta? Personally, I'm very glad it has the jalapenos on it. It it could have done with a little bit more of the of the bacon maple onion jam like it could go with a little bit more sweetness like i would i would up the intensity of that a little bit but you guys it doesn't need the crunch from lettuce because brigitte is right the the crunch from the hash browns gives gives the crunch that you're looking for 
from that. It's a good texture thing. I like it. I think it's great. Um, Here for all of it. <laughs> Would totes do jalapenos on yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Grog said he didn't want any on his, but I'm, I'm glad I have it on mine. It's good. It's not like hot. It just adds just a little tiny bit of a kick. Um, and I roasted them. I put them in the oven. So they're not just raw. They're just, they're like kind of soft. They're really good. It's really good. I'm, I'm very pleased about how this turned out. Mm-hmm. 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 Considering that was made from basically freezer rejects, <laughs> fridge and freezer rejects, that's pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 heck yeah, look at me. I did the thing. Um, right. Uh, let me pull the, let me pull the, the, the broccoli out of the oven before I forget. Um, and we'll, and we'll have broccoli after stream. Um, uh, oh, off. Okay. But yeah, that, uh, my, my, my trick is, 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 is burning things in the oven while I'm doing my, my closing. Um, let's go to just chatting for just a second for a, a little minute. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. So. Um, I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, thank you for hanging out today um, as we made our our, our breakfast burgers. Um, I, I didn't know that was what was going to be happening, but but it, it turned out really good. I, I, I might even do it on purpose again because it was pretty darn good. Um, <laughs> uh, let us do some quick shout outs here for a moment. Um, first of all. Grog, thank you so much for corralling the dog and uh, dealing with the dishes. I, I there's 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 a few. I'm sorry. Um, I hope the burgers were were worth it. Um, Des Dabbles, thank you so much for moderating. Also, Des makes her triumphant return to streaming after basically a month of of household illness. <laughs> um, so, um, so I, I will be very very glad to see Des back and streaming tomorrow. That's the plan. Um, playing, uh, I think God of War Ragnarok. I think that's the plan. Um, so if that sounds fun to you, um, and you uh and uh it, it, it enjoy um talking to um small wizards homunculi uh go follow des um <laughs> also byron mask um who is streaming periodically these days but uh, or sporadically these days but um definitely give her a follow for um when she does decide to return to a more regular schedule um and then dr andy 23 um, who is going to be streaming very soon. I was a teenage exocolonist. Um, I watched a little bit of this last week um, and it was as bizarre as you might expect. And that's saying something. So if you're curious about that, hop on over there in a few minutes when, uh, when, he, when he starts his Tuesday storyteller stream. Um... Let us, though, because I actually want to sit down and eat my foods, um, see if I can figure out who else is live. Um, let me just quickly scan down the list here. Um, actually, uh... Hmm. So here's here's the, here's my dilemma. Um, basically, all of the people that I would raid um, tonight um, are all playing Baldur's Gate three. Um, is that OK <laughs> with you guys? Um, I, I actually haven't had the chance. And I, I think I think so. I think I think this person is very early on in the game. Um, and so I think it's probably not going to contain a lot of spoilers. Oh, 
<laughs> All right. Um, or we could just raid Joe. <laughs> Um, so <laughs> it's not, okay, Brigitte does not want to watch Baldur's Gate. All right, that's fine. But I was gonna, I wasn't gonna take you to anybody that I thought was like too far into the game. Like, I think this person actually just might have started tonight or like maybe last week. They might be two streams in, but I, I, I think they started tonight, but it's okay. Byron hath spoken. Yes, Brigitte has spoken. Um, and we're going to go see, we're going to go see Joe. Okay. So cool runnings. Um, absolutely lovely guy. Um, he, uh, he does both gaming streams and, um, fitness streams. He, he is, he's very inclusive. Um, and, um, and, 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 and non, and non-toxic. So please don't, don't be, um, a, a, a feared <laughs> that you're going to get a lot of, a lot of nonsense. He's, he doesn't put up with any nonsense. Um, <laughs> he is currently playing something called Faith, the Unholy Trinity. I've never heard of this before. Um, I, uh, I, I, I assume it's going to be, I'm, I assume it's going to be, it's going to be good though, um, because Joe's a really good guy. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go see Joe. If I could get the raid messages in the chat, that would be amazing. Also, um, I am in fact on Instagram and threads and I have been posting. Yay, go me. Um, also we do have a discord, um, Brigitte and Pies and I have a discord. So, um, if you would like to join in for things like Jackbox nights, um, that we do in discord and then also, um, movie nights we do in discord, um, and, and a plethora of other more ad hoc activities, um, including Brigitte torturing us with kayak luges and, um, and, and, and a lot of Fortnite. <laughs> um, <laughs> here for all of it wants to know if I want to be on blue sky I think I have one I just have never really gone on it so I think I have an invite that I haven't like claimed but I I don't I don't know do do I need to be on blue sky is that a thing I need to do um <laughs> opting out says my understanding is because you gotta have faith yeah you gotta have faith sorry that was that was hopefully what you meant. Um, right. So uh, if you would copy one of those messages um, and I will get this raid set up for Joe. Um, I uh, hope you will. Um, Ugh, 1987. Why do we know songs from 1987? Opting out. It's because we're old. That's why. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So let's go say hi to Joe. Um, we always get a warm welcome over there. It's always delightful to see him. So if you would just grab one of those raid messages and pop it into Joe's chat, um, even if you're heading off elsewhere, I'd appreciate the support um, and, 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 and appreciate you giving Joe a chance. So um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and go say hi to Joe. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out for hanging out with me. It's always really good to see you guys. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your evening. Um, I hope to see you back here 1030 a.m. Eastern time on Thursday for salsa chicken. And um, oh, and I I'm making chocolate marshmallow cookies and out of out of out of this. Wait, I have it right here. It's like way in the back, though, out of marshmallow fluff so we're going to be playing with stuff that's sticky on thursday if that appeals to you come back thursday good night you guys have a great week if i don't see you talk to you soon bye